tiny robots made from algae are swimming through the lung fluids of mice, delivering antibiotics straight to the bacteria that causes a deadly form of pneumonia. Nanoparticles loaded with medicine are attached to the micro-robots, and it all enters the lungs. They can actively swim in the body fluid, and they can, they can really dig into the deep part of the tissue and then carry a large amount of these therapeutic payloads to the disease sites and then very effectively kill the bacteria. Zhang said the results of the experiment were dramatic. The mice treated with drugs in a conventional way died within days. Treated by our this unique formulation, all the testing animals survived. It's 100% the survival rate. Anyone who has swallowed an aspirin knows one very conventional way of delivering drugs. The medication is ingested and is carried throughout the body. Directly you take the pill, it's all passive. It's all the drug goes slowly by diffusion. By having dynamic active delivery, we are accelerating targeted delivery to the right location with accelerated delivery. Joseph Wang's lab at UCSD offers many examples of micro-robots designed to navigate the body's channels and cavities. The algae robot is organic and swims with its flagella. Another robot made from zinc reacts with gastric fluid and generates hydrogen gas, which propels it like a true rocket. Wang points out the algae robot is not attracted to the bacteria, but they move so effectively through the fluids of the lung that it greatly improves the dispersion of the drug. Wang has actually loaded micro-robots into pills, including aspirin. The purpose of this research, of course, is not to treat mice, but humans. Zhang said the study of algae robots in the lungs is very innovative and experimental. In this paper, we demonstrated the, the feasibility of the technology. And what I foresee is we need to do more study along the line to demonstrate the efficacy in large animal species. That means clinical trials in humans are a long ways off. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.